The man from the land of the rising sun is certainly raising a few heart rates right here. I was going to say, raising <laughs> a lot of pulses. Indeed. I don't know if I want to raise that man's pulse in the blue corner, but hey. Kotok Miura is, if he's not a superstar in Japan, well, he's definitely a superstar here in Thailand. And he is lapping it up right now, both these two. A lot of respect from both boxes. Fans are going absolutely crazy here. Yeah. Packed house at Rajadam Nern Stadium. And rightly so. This is what everybody's really come here to see. And here's our quick tail of the tape. This is an exhibition bout, so none of these two weighed in. Hope you guys can hear us as <laughs> the fans here are just going absolutely ballistic. We even got a, a young lady in the stands that has a Kota Marry Me sign. I thought that was for you, boy. <laughs> not for me, man. It's definitely not for me. So, Bauk Wokau Banchimek, 40 years of old, 40 years of age, sorry. The son of Surin here in Thailand, 178 centimetres tall. Former K1 World Max champion, two time running. Former Omnoi Stadium champion, of course, at Muay Thai. And former WBC Muay Thai Diamond champion, also, and former Thai fight. And of course, Kunlun champion as well. And his opponent in the red corner, Kota Miura. 20 years of age, he's from Japan. It's 175 centimeters tall with a reach of 176 centimeters. So only fought one time and it was under MMA rules. And he won by TKO in the first round. This is impressive. <laughs> Kota, well, looks like he's got a slight, oh no, I think these two are the same. Yeah, they're, they're, oh no. Yep, no, the same height. Okay, here we go. A long anticipated return for Burkhal to come back to Rajadamnern after such a long time. 18 years in the making. Yeah, he won his last fight here at Rajdamnern in 2004 and he beat Monkon Kiatsom Kwan on points. Burkow doing a lot for Muay Thai. And let's see if he can do the same tonight. Or let's see if Kota can rip up the script and cause a huge upset. The main event of the evening! This is RWS Rajanandar World Series Special Event KAT Present Legend of Rajanandar! Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? This is Roger Dumdum! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is three round of exhibition kickboxing. Introducing our referee on stage, Mr. Shumpon in Ta Yot. Our relatives and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, 
40 years of age. He stands 175 centimeters tall and hold a record of 240 win, 73 by way of knockout, 24 losses and one draw. He is a living, the living legend of Muay Thai, the former Thailand featherweight champion and the first former two-time K1 World Max World Champion fighting out of Surin, Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Bukhau Banchabe! Fighting out of the red corner, 20 years of age. He stands at 175 centimeters tall. He holds an undefeated record in mixed martial arts with one win. He is the son of legendary football player Kazuyoshi Miura, aka the King Kazu. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Kobe, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, the King Judea, Miura, Koda! All right, folks, it's main event time. Buakao from Thailand, Koto from Japan. Well, here we go. Never seen this stadium packed to the rafters. Literally, if there is nowhere you can sit at all. And both these fighters have had such a grand reception, rightly so. Here we go. Buakao is back at Rajnam Nern. Buakao, 40 years of age. Gautam Mura, only 20. And Burkow looking stacked here. So Gautam Mura, if I'm correct, he was born in 2002. That was the year that Burkow won the Omnoy Stadium Lightweight Championship. And also picking up the Toyota Marathon Championship as well. Yeah, Gautam Mura, real combat sports fan as Beer said his father's a famous soccer player in Japan at 55 years of age still playing at the professional leagues spinning wow, back hit from nice. Goda just a little bit too low but it's fired up Burkow not sure if that's a good thing Burkow moving in I remember ladies and gentlemen this is kickboxing not Muay Thai so Burkow cannot oh, oh. <laughs> Rudely interrupted there. Burkow cannot <laughs> elbow and there's no active clinch. But Burkow's used to that. He's made a name for himself fighting on the K1 World Max. Yeah, good combinations, but a beautiful right high kick there from the son of Serin. Burkow. Miura just bouncing around the ring here. Yeah. Miura doing a good job in the boxing department so far but literally everything Burkow does this stadium just roars push that from Yura as Burkow looks to go rip a left body shot a high kick from Burkow and Yura backed into the corner Good flurry combo here from Mitura. Attempted low kick and a miss there by Buakal. Good hands coming in from Miura. Good left hook from Mitura. 
Burkow with the flurry here. One, two from Mitura. He then ties up Burkow and pushes it against, against the ropes. Not a bad idea. You can see Burkow trying to come at you at full pace. Left body kick from Burkow. Looks like he's slipped slightly. Clock winding down now. Dying seconds of the first round. And of round one. Your main event here at RWS. Okay, here we go. Interesting first round. Both these two getting to know each other a little bit too much. Not really willing to engage. But hey, if you're Kota Mura, you've definitely, you're, well, definitely got to be a bit confident. You just lasted one round with a living legend, Burkow, landed a few good body kicks and punching combinations. But is Burkow, is Burkow toying with the young puppy here? Who knows? Yeah, I think that was a good summation of the round there, Ali. Miura was just, you know, moving around and trying to find those openings. Burkow was pushing the pace and trying to explode. He did catch Miura with a couple of right shots and a couple of good left body shots also. Yeah, he did. We, we were talking, weren't we? We weren't sure if this, if this is being judged or not because it is an exhibition bout. So maybe not. No, definitely not. Looks like the judges are nowhere to be seen at the moment. We just got our third man in the ring. Mr. Chumpon. And it looks like these two are rearing and ready to go. Let's see what round two has installed for us. And let's not forget, in two weeks' time, Burkhal will be back at Rajadam Nern in a bare knuckle bout. That's right, you heard it correctly. In two weeks, just two weeks' time, Burkhal will be competing in his first ever bare knuckle bout. Oh! Oh, right hand and he stumbles, Muna! Kota still wanting to come forward and trade. Good left hook there from Borkow again. Looks to go to the body. And high kick attempt there from Borkow. Left hook to the body from Mura, but Borkow coming back with a flurry of his own. And good knee there. It's definitely heated up in this second round. Mura feeling the impact of the Borkow leather. Burkow switching to Southpaw, big left body kick from Burkow. And a right body kick from Burkow, right knee from Burkow. Right body shot also. Left hook to the body from Burkow, right knee too. Miura doing his best to counter. Did catch Burkow with a couple of strikes. But Burkow having the better of the action in this second round. And good combination there from Mitura but he's stumbling here the huge left body kicks from Burkow I mean yeah, those, those still got good dexterity hasn't he for an old man <laughs> I mean hey it went viral years ago Burkow destroying banana trees with his body kicks and he's definitely done that in, in, in his competitive bouts too he made a name for himself in kickboxing in the K1 match, just destroying his opponents with body kicks. Good tip there from Borkow. And he's definitely got Mitterrat, something to think about. He's very apprehensive to engage. Right low kick from Borkow, left body kick from Borkow. And a right kick that almost goes up high. Right hand from Borkow. Oh, Borkow looks like he's toying with the young pup right now. Yeah, it really is, and Mitura shouldn't duck his head like that. I mean, come on. Might be an exhibition bout, but he can still knee to the head. Oh, right good uppercut. uppercut. Good head movement there from Borkow. Practicing for his next bout. <laughs> hey, exactly. Definitely blowing the cobwebs off tonight. Borkow fought in Cambodia a few, oh, well, most recently this year. Slipping a miss from Borkow. 
Right to the body from Burkow. But Mira coming back with a flurry here. Standing toe to toe in the second round. Another right hand then from Burkow. Inside thigh kick. Attempted right high kick. Deep breaths there from Miura. Burkow just pushes him back into the corner. Another right hand attempt there from Miura. Burkow just moves his head out of the way. End of round two. ไกลอัจฉริยะปรับเปลี่ยนทิศทางน้ำมันให้ไหลเวียนน้อยลงที่ถูกคิดค้นมาเพื่อช่วยประหยัดน้ำมันโดยเฉพาะให้อัตราเ
Look how he's going all out to finish this fight. And the and referee wins it up. It's all over. And there you have it. The young kid from Japan just couldn't couldn't stick it out with none other than the legendary Burkow Banchamek from Surin in the northeast of Thailand. What a way to wrap up an amazing night of fights here at the fully packed Rajadam Nern Stadium. It's been absolutely incredible. And the son of Surin gets the job done in front of his home crowd. And a win him. for Burkow at Rajadam Nern Stadium. Who'd have thunk it? And I mean, he just, I think he took it, saw his opportunity and he just took it. Yeah, props to Miyuri. He did his best to stay in there, but it was just a little bit too much. The strength and power of the 40 year old took its toll. And eventually the referee came in to stop the fight. Boys and girls, I have been Aaron Siri Sompan. And I and Ali, Ali McConey. And wow, thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Really appreciate the support and the comments. We will see you next week for another installment at RWS. Yeah. Around 7.30 Thai time, time. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you again on YouTube, the same channel, next week for more RWS action. See you then and good night.